Isn't it interesting when we got a bunch of African-American DAs, now we need uh, Daddy to tell us what to do? So y'all can go put that, that can be your sound bite for today. But today I am here so I can reach my community and this is really messing up my business. They can look all they want. The DA's office has done everything according to the books. We are following the law. Um, I'm sorry that folks get mad when everybody in society can be prosecuted. But today is really important that we reach the community. So I appreciate you being here about whatever case is of interest to you. Uh, but what I'm interested in is my community. What I'm interested in is my community knows that we have a domestic violence unit where they can get service, where we have an elder unit where they can get service, where they can learn today how to access the clerk's office, and that is all we are about here today. Um, our office has now working with the sheriff, working with the Atlanta Police Department and our other police agencies. Crime is down more than 25 percent. We got the third best drop in crime in the United States of America. Think about that. When we came to take this office, me and Sheriff Labat, I don't even know where he is, he may be off doing his work, but when we came to these offices, crime was raging. And because we have worked collectively together, literally all collectively together, crime is down. So I am a prosecutor that I don't care if you're black, if you're white, if you're Hispanic, if you're Asian, if you're rich or you're poor, I don't care who your daddy is. If you violate the law in this county, you are going to be prosecuted. But I don't also don't care if you're impoverished or if you're rich. We have services that we want to help people, and here we are today, we are here today to get the information to the community about how they can get services from our office, and we have to come to them. You know, I think we're doing an excellent job of going to seniors. We've done an excellent job of serving children. This is for the everyday citizen. They can keep looking. I'm not interested in them looking. They can look. I'm sorry they pissed off. Justice is now actually blind. Lady Justice is blind. Everybody can get it. Okay, so use that as your sound bite, but please go so this man can get his business and we can touch our citizens. DA Willis, what would you say to members in the community who may be concerned that your office dealing with these high profile cases will take away the resources of prosecuting these cases, these lower crimes that we're seeing? I would say they should pay attention to what's been going on. When I came here, there was an 18,000 case backlog. It went seven years. That backlog has been cleared. We are up to date, and so although that's a little catchphrase people want to do, I'm a sister, I can do all of it. I can prosecute high profile cases, and I can prosecute everyday cases when they need to be prosecuted. But I can also start the first ever in Fulton County pre-indictment diversion plan where we are giving citizens a second chance and making sure that they can be restored. Because let's be clear, Crime going down is not just because we are prosecuting the most violent, it's also because we're in the school system with our REACH program, offering children other opportunities. It's also because we're giving low-time offenders, the first-time offenders, a second chance. It's because we have a balanced approach and we're doing it from both ends. It's also because I can call my sheriff and say, hey, sheriff, I need to access phone calls, and he doesn't play games like the last sheriff did. He made sure that we work collaboratively together and we can get the evidence we need. It's because I can call my clerk and say, we're having problems accessing a system, probably because we're lawyers and we don't know what we're doing, but can you come and can you teach our lawyers so we can do things correctly? It takes a team of us to make things go right, and right now things are going the way they should. Um, so I would tell them, don't listen to that. Look at what the actual numbers are, and you don't have to take my word for it. The mayor has told people in Atlanta that he is excited that crime is down, and I love Chief Shearbaum. Let me say that again. I love Chief Shearbaum. He has collaborated with us on the prosecution of violent gang members. All of our police departments have let us come out and train them on how you properly do gang warrants. The clerk has worked with them so they know how to properly file documents. I would tell them things are working, and so clearly, when you have this sister in office, we can do both things.